Um, why can't you have some wireless? So that's a habit. I don't think I need to make someone else to call it. I do, my friends are always kind of safe. You know, I think YouTube, I think YouTube is better than that. I'm Right. So many ladies. One masculine energy coming in. So <laughs> join us. <laughs> Not quite balances so, out, but yeah. So thanks for being here, everyone. I know there's some new really people at each class is so really sometimes hard for me to choose. I have to like sit with it and feel kind of. Some of them are kind of weird, and some of them are like some are really weird, and then some are really cool, and some are really interesting. So it's also just the changes in the experiences that the body is going to have, and breathing in different ways and moving in different ways. Right? So, so today we're going to do one for keeping up the spirit. and working through the glands and circulation. So as we know, all these little movements we do, um, sometimes I refer to like the beach, you know, when you step on the sand and the, the sand turns kind of white and then all the water like rushes back into where you see your footprint kind of thing. Um, so think of that today just as we're moving through the movements, your circulation, your the fluids through the body. So we're really trying to manipulate the breath through the body, but also have your glands secrete properly, right? So the thyroid and the hypothalamus, the 
uh, pituitary want to get everything secreting properly and cleansing. So, yeah. So, Kundalini Yoga will tune in with with a mantra. Usually there's two, but I have kind of narrowed it down to just one. So it is the Adi Mantra, Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo. And we will chant this three times. Room right in the middle, Right. So, there's some of you that know the mantra, so you can help me out. Please. <laughs> there's a lot to tune in. So, why we tune in is our bodies are frequencies, right? So, we all come from different things in our day. We just want to come into the same frequency. We'll practice and then we'll tune out together. Um, you can allow the mantra to move through you. You can just listen, you can chant it in your, your mind, or if you feel comfortable whispering or using your voice, use the vibration of it. So bring hands to your heart, palm, and have the hands in there, pressing the thumbs into the sternum, and a long deep breath in, and let it go. Pressing the palms together, elbows are out to the side, the eyes are focused at the brow. And the gentle breath on the tip of your nose. The mantra is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Breath in. Om Namo. Breath in. Suspend the breath. Feel, let it go, relax your hands. Tuning in. Well, meditation for the stable self. <clears throat> we have fears, worries, insecurities. We can come back to our breath. This can help us center ourselves. You're going to bring your right hand over the left hand. The hands are going to point up. The left hand is kind of in front of the chest, maybe just below the chest a little bit. Um, the right hand is above the left thumb, so it kind of comes to the chin. You're going to take a long, deep, powerful breath in. And as you exhale, you're just going to let a tiny bit of breath out and think of each vertebrae, so all 26 vertebrae. Exhale, imagining each one. When you get to the base of the spine, you're going to take a long, deep breath in again. Then the breath, think of just little breath going out. If you imagine each vertebrae, all 26. Down the spine. Don't hold anymore. Take a deep breath in.
On the pranic body. Means an increase in, in your sense of self, increase in good judgment, elimination of our normal instincts, whatever those are. Any conscious or subconscious fears, anything that makes you jumpy or irregular. Trust your inner self. Helping you be steady, removing those reactions to your fears. Thirty seconds left to stay focused. Kind of visualize the vertebrae. You are deep breath in or exhale. Take a deep breath. And the breath at the top. Exhale, let it all go. Bring your hands down to the knees. Take a breath. Exhale, let it go. Hands, so hands are on the knees. You're going to start to make circles through the waist. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Yeah. Moving through any tension that you feel, massaging the organ. Moving your rib cage along the inside of a bowl. Breathing through any imbalances that you feel. Slow, controlled breath. This direction. Center, you can go the other way. Uh, yeah. Back, round the spine. Uh, A couple more this way. Inhale forward, uh, exhale back. Feeling to center, take a deep breath. Let it go. Bring your hands up to your shoulders, elbows come up to the side, fingers in front, thumbs behind. You're going to twist left, inhale, exhale to the right, inhale, exhale. And get the Motion going if you want to speed up, increase the speed of your breath. <clears throat> Listen to your body, just kind of ease into it. Inhale, exhale. In the spine tall. The 
eyes slightly open if you like. Try to close them if you feel comfortable. Breathing into the motion. The more you breathe, the more you're going to be calm. Remember, you're working through the limitations in the mind. Staying connected with the breath, being focused. Twenty seconds, keep going, nice and strong, powerful breath. I'm going to center, deep breath in, hold the posture, hold the breath. And there are any changes in the body. Focus on your breath, the spine is tall. In between the postures, bring the spine tall, up the chin. Breath in. Exhale. Dress the body out and we bring you back into rest and digest. We're going to reach the arms up. This one, you open up to the side and then you're going to go front and back. Side, front, back. It's just kind of a weird motion with the wrist. Front, back, back. I'm trying to focus on the third eye point. Both eyes focus right at the brow center. Feet a little bit, I will straight, not much longer. You now have to take a deep breath. Inhale, down. <clears throat> Front of the heart. Both hands together. Both uh, fingers are going to face you here. And then you're going to kind of pull. You're going to inhale out. Exhale in. Good movement. A little tug at the fingers. Strong breath, stay focused. It says eight minutes, but I won't make you eight minutes. <laughs> That's where the changes will happen. Seven. And 
heart meridian here in the lungs. Focus, energizing your body, reversing the aging process, Kundalini. <laughs> We're all going to look young, 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 Yes. The longer you come, the better. Few more strong breaths. And inhale, hold the arms up. Deep breath. Suspend the breath. Inhale a little more. And then exhale. The hands. In your energy, notice any changes in the body. Move on to your back. Oh, if your lower back gives you some trouble, you can slide the hands under the low back. But you're going to start, or you can have the hands by the side. Alternating leg lift. So you're going to inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, other leg, exhale down. And into your body, inhale up, exhale down. Your quads, your thigh muscles, adjust the body's calcium and magnesium. Help to balance that in your body. And stretch the lumbar spine down to the floor, keeping your core strong. Be strong, you could pour this leg, powerful breath. Your bone is strong. Twenty seconds. Strong. Like anything in life, you'll get out what you put in. Almost there. Wherever you are, one leg up, take a deep breath, hold, hold, exhale down, other leg, inhale up, hold, deep breath, exhale down, down. Deep breath, let everything go as you exhale. Breath, or turn to one side or rock yourself back up to your seat. Legs out in front of you, reach towards the ankles, the big toes. If you're reaching the big toes or the shins, wherever, more about the spine, gonna keep the spine tall. 
If you do reach the toes, press the thumbs into the big toe and then the index and finger behind the big toe. So be kind of the brain, right? The brain stimulating the nerves. Inhaling here, exhale down. Inhale. Even says, helps keep you vigorously young. <laughs> vigorously. <laughs> Powerful breath. Inhale, on up, exhale. And breathing into the leg. On your life nerve, your sciatic. Breathing. In and out through the nose. 90 seconds. <laughs> Powerful. Lift it to your body again. Move at your own pace. Breathing through any discomfort. Listening to the mind. Wondering why I'm doing this for so long. Keep going. <laughs> Last stretch, home stretch. Faith and mind, lasting through those limitations. Inhale to center your head. Deep breath. Deep breath. Inhale. Find tall. Deep breath. Inhale, let it go. Down to hand the knee. Hot cow. Hands under your shoulders. Knees under the hips. Holding the navel down with the chin. Looking up, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Navel up, inhale. Exhale. If you move a little quicker, I like to be slower today. All right. Keep the palms down as you round your spine.
feet a little bit more here, a little faster. Coming to center, take a deep breath. And exhale. here and so this one helps to adjust the pelvic and the, the glute muscles but it might hurt to help your feet actually <laughs> but it's going to do what feels good for you like the legs you know, tap, hit the top of your feet on the floor Down. Back to your heels. And then you're going to come up to standing. Oops. Your hips is apart. And inhale back and then exhale, rolling forward. Back, exhale. Front through the waist. Extending the spine as far as it will go in each direction. Center switch directions. Back and down. A couple more. And inhale, come to center, take a deep breath. No, no. He will stay shoulder width apart. You're going to inhale, palms up, exhale, hold down, inhale up, exhale down. Body, open your heart. And then it's or slow if you like to move a little longer. Inhale up, deep breath. Inhale slow. Take a deep breath. Feet are getting wide, so you might want to turn sideways here. We might have to just kind of shift. We're going to do the same movement, but the feet are wide. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Wide legs. Mm -hmm. 
and press the outer edges of your feet into the mat. Press down through the leg. Inhale fully, exhale fully. Powerful breath. Couple more. Inhale up to center. Exhale, arms down. One more time. Feet together. Close together. A little harder. Inhale up. Exhale down. Press. Move it through the body. Two more. Last one in here. Deep breath in through the nose, inhale through the mouth, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, the shoulders, going to move the hands up and down really quick, inhale up, exhale down. And breath. Inhale, sweep your arms down. And back down. Feet will come out in front of you. Your right? hands are going to come to your side, feet, front, and here you're going to lift into a tabletop. Inhale up and exhale, bum down, or you can try to slide your hips back. Inhale up, you feel comfortable. A few more here. We're working on the the, the thyroid, the parathyroid. Last one, you can inhale up wherever you are. Slowly exhale. We're gonna come back up to a tabletop. And you're just gonna try to lift one leg up and then the other. <laughs> That's too much again. You can kind of just move the hips up and down. Still in that position. More on each leg. Um, 
arms and come down, lower the hips, slide your hips down, your back. Taking a deep breath. Bring the palms underneath the hips. Again, you're going to raise the legs up. At this time, you're going to move them to the side, crisscross in, out. Make the breath a little more powerful. There you are, deep breath in, hold, and exhale down, back your leg. Job. Breath in, exhale, let it go. Are you going to reach the right arm above your head and to the top of your mat and your left leg and right arm are gonna come up together. 90 degrees, inhale here, exhale down and then opposite will come up. Inhale down, exhale up, keep alternating. Opposite arm and leg. Balance yourself back and forth. Today, this one will help balance. Quickly, help balance both sides of the train. Almost there. Wherever you are, deep breath in, hold up, with one leg up, one arm. Exhale <laughs> down. Deep breath. Inhale, let it go. Arms by your sides. Your shoulders under your back.
बात के ऊपर Long deep breath in. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Your head side to side. Reach your arms above your head. From the arms all the way down to your toes. Your knees to your chest. A hug, rock side to side. Rock yourself forward and back along the spine if you like. Step back up. Prepare for meditation. Yeah, and just a little chat together. So, because we want to move the physical body and eliminate all the imbalances in the mind, then that prepares us for meditation for you. I'm sure you guys all feel amazing right now. Relax. The brain is now ready for meditation. Beginning, I like to prime the body with pranayama and breathing. End as well. But so it's an easy mantra. It's easy to remember to say. We'll do it along with the music. Um, the, the position for the hands is uh, the right hand on the left, and the thumbs will touch together. So the hands will come in your lap. So this meditation um, balances the left hemisphere of the brain with the base of the right hemisphere. So this enables the brain to maintain equilibrium under stress or the weight of sudden shock. It also keeps the nerves from being shattered under those circumstances. So the brain, you know, there's always emotions and trauma and stress. People have had different circumstances. Things happen. So again, we always want to be ready. Clearing the mind as well. So Satnam, I'm going to just play it. So all the mantras is Satnam six times and Wahi Buddha. You can whisper if you like. It's your sensual being and then as you do the voice. Activate more vibration. Nam sat 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 nam sat
the palms together, thumbs into the sternum, into the heart space, chin up together with one long sat nam, so we'll take a deep breath in, exhaling it all, let it go, and into tune out. Uh, Um, uh, Yeah. 